we add floor layers, tags, just like this? Of course, yes, we can, but it will take some preparations, once and for all. And let's see how this could be available. This is a floor type of family, and we are going to take a section view to explore its layers. It is having several layers of materials as expected. Usually, we do use the materials tag in order to get a sort of layers breakdown. This is the basic method known to do so, and maybe there are some other ways to do the same with keynote features, but it clearly seems hard, slow, and absolutely unstable. And even if we did our best to adjust and align the leaders, they will never be satisfying, at least in an easy way. And regarding to the stability, any changes to the floor structure may blow up all what we did, and the leaders will easily leave their targets and this will cause a misleading. In a huge project, this will be a disaster. Okay, that's enough. Let's see how to avoid this mess. First of all, we are not going to use the material tags anymore, we need to create a floor tag family. We will start from a generic tag family and then convert it to be floor tag family. From the family category tab, choose to convert the family to floor tag. Delete the pre-existing text note and add a label. The label is a text, but it reads an information, any available information we choose. The available informations are always the floor's parameters. And here, we can find all the parameters which do belong to the floors. The problem now is that we cannot find any parameters about the floor layers, only the structure material parameter. And of course, it is not enough to get what we are looking for. Never mind, we will solve this problem now. Let's give the family a name and load it into the project. Here is what it gives us. And now, it is the most important part of all of this. Let's create a shared parameter. Shared parameters are a very important option in Rivet, but for now, all we need to know is that we use it to add some extra parameters to any category in Rivet. And we need this now to add an extra field to the floor's properties, as we'll see after a while. Here, we need to create a shared parameter text file if we don't have one. It is very simple. Just a text file contains and stores all the parameters we will create. We can organize them in groups. And it is highly recommended to save this file in the server with a shared path to all your computers. Under the group we chose, let us add the parameter we want. Let's call it floor layers. You can choose any proper name, and it must be a multi-line text parameter. Now the shared parameter is ready for use. We will add it to the project parameters for floors category and choose to be a type parameter. And now, if we opened any floor type, we will find it. And here will be the layers data which we would like to be illustrated in the floor tag we prepared earlier. Let's fill it manually just this time, but then there will be a very smarter solutions. It's time to update the floor tag to be ready to show up the data we entered in the floor type. We need to find and insert the shared parameter we created. And now, we know why it is called shared. That is because it is the only way to link several files with the same parameter, as the tag family is a separate file than the project. And to make the tag read the new floor parameter with the data we entered, we must use a parameter which is shared between them both. This is the logic of the shared parameters, and we may expand about them later. We will add the shared parameter and remove the old useless one, and then let's load into the project and see what comes. Here we are, with a one-touch layers tag, stable, neat, and clean. Problem solved? Maybe yes, but not with the most luxurious and interesting part. Do you really think it is a good idea to fill all these data for each floor type in the project, manually? We don't think so. Those are only three floor types, each has its layers and materials data. Imagine how many floor types you have in project, as well as a huge one. And how many modifications may occur on these data through the project workflow. Got the point? Then let's move. We are going to play a game, 
This tiny file is a Dynamo node. It is a script we designed to do all the repetitive hard work instead of our engineers. Download it from the description below or ask for it via our email. Now it is time to play. Summon the Dynamo player from Manage tab and make sure you are pointing it to the path which you are saving the file you downloaded. The script will appear in the list and all you have to do is to press play and it will literally play. And wow, what a game this is. The script collects all the needed informations from the floor and reflect them all in the shared parameter we created. You can test to change any properties in the floor or the layer's data and rerun the script to update all the tags. Moreover, you can customize the data you need, as you can turn off the thickness not to be shown. Also, there are two options of information you can choose, just change the parameter name, but be case sensitive. Also, you can choose how to separate between these two informations. By default, the script is using the material description and comments to combine together making the material tagline. You can choose another may be the mark with the name of the material. Again, remember to match the letter's case. And by the way, if you are curious about how did this script created, it is all about the Dynamo, which is a rivet built in visual programming used to expand and enhance the rivet abilities. You can open the node by yourself and explore. Maybe one day we will go deep through it to explain how it was created. With other many nodes we and others designed to make our experience with Rivet and engineering more enjoyable and luxurious. Luxurious BIM by Rocks Engineering.